Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle book review of Conan, the Songs of the Dead and other stories. This is obviously from Marvel Comics. Well, originally it was obviously Dark Horse and it collects a vast amount of material. Now it's a lot of material, so it's probably best to just quickly show it because you can just see it on the back. It's about 208 odd pages in this. It came out in June 2021. I must admit, was not familiar with it at all. Suddenly I noticed, I thought, hmm, haven't seen that before. And a uh, bit odd, I'm not really certain where it fits in with all the, because I've been guessing, you can see all the various Conan epic collections. I mean, is this material going to be included in the epics? I, I'm not certain, to be honest. Um, and also there's some other ones at the back. Again, I'm not certain if they... However, that's not the issue. Did I enjoy the stories? Yes, actually I did. They were very different. In fact, it was very different is the best thing to say. Pretty odd as well. I did enjoy them though. So there's the stories and all the various credits, writers, artists, colour, etc, etc, letterer, all the key characters there. Obviously, great that. And straight into the book. The artwork is fine throughout. It's got lots of the usual standard things with Conan. Starts off where he comes. But he's a very different Conan. I mean, it's a, there's actually, this is a Conan, this one, that really talks quite a bit. I'm not certain if you did an analysis of Conan stories. Conan generally doesn't say a vast amount. But in here, there was quite a bit of <laughs> very unusual humour. Uh, it's, and also a lot of, lot of talk and, can, and also of course lots of violence as usual you actually guarantee within about five seconds there is going to be a bit of a head lopping or someone that's obviously upset him no sort of conversation there it's basically where well, he has a bit of conversation but man one man gives us orders of course i think you're asking for trouble against conan well obviously they do and again more pages afterwards of a lot however of course as always there's a good old sorcerer involved You've always got to have a good old sorcerer involved. That's this. Uh, but there's some great scenes all the way. And the colouring is great. I love the colouring, I must admit. Wasn't so enamoured by the artwork. It's, I mean, in terms of the inking. It was, it was fine, but it was still... I love the... Uh, this, there's a sort of uh, genie that runs through the story. And that's quite uh, nicely done. But uh, you've also got... Why is it with always these sort of dead creatures that always, you always see these statues or whatever? Virtually guarantee what's going to happen with those. It's a standard sort of storyline there, isn't it? But you've got the sorcerer, and the sorcerer is great. He's, a real, he's actually quite a funny sorcerer. For a sorcerer guy, there's some great scenes. He's got his usual bunch of lackeys, which uh, I must admit, I'm not saying I want to be a lackey of this guy. He sort of does seem to suddenly remind me of certain politicians. But uh, you've got various uh, scenes here with yeah, that's what sort of things you do. However, I did enjoy it in the end. I, initially, I thought, hmm, I don't know. This is just so different from my usual sort of sort of Conan that I like. But it, I did warm to it, and they've got some great characters, and you've always got, obviously, a lot of supporting characters. This, this woman turns up as well, and um, it's good. It is generally very, very, very good all the way through, and... Let's just get through to the next story because there's quite a few mix of stories. It's not just one story all the way through. And that was, well, of course, most of the epics are like that as well. But it did slightly, quite a big jump in styles as well, which, of course, is very like the, the Chronicles as well. However, let's just go to the next one. And this one is The Spear. This is a free comic book day, 2006. Conan, The Spear. And you've got a lovely, again, a good old sorcery. Go on, be the girls. He's a, He's in a tower and he's doing the usual thing. Obviously, Conan's had a battle. Weirdly, of course, is it predictable or not? Conan's involved in the battle. Weirdly, Conan is the only one to survive. But there's a, quite a nice touch and scene right at the start where you've got this Conan just going and this obviously guy on the ground and he sort of says something. And Conan's, again, quite a talkative Conan in comparison with his usual sort of not very much. It's a, it's a bit different, but it's good. I love, there's also the usual silent things. He's got, obviously, goes off and, so there's a lot of great scenes. And quite often, of course, you don't need any word, but you're not going to sort of, characters going, arg or whatever, or, you know, or Conan comes here to do this. Of course not. You don't need it. A nice silent scene, spear or whatever, you know, 
goes through. I don't know where he gets his weapons from. He's always finding weapons. He always says a couple of scenes later he's got another sword. I'm thinking, he's got quite a few swords there. But I suppose he picks them up as he goes around. But sometimes you go and see a panel. And I'm not going to show that one because that's the end. But it's a panel where it doesn't look like he's got a sword anymore. And then mysteriously, he's got a sword. And you're thinking, where did that come from? But anyway, that's a miracle. This one was weird. Age of Conan, Hyborian Ventures. Now, The Road of Kings. Oh, the artwork was very odd. I mean, the art was good. I mean, I'm not saying anything wrong with the artwork, but the printing's a bit odd because you can actually see the, the way it's patterns in the, the printing. Very strange. It's just like so odd and it makes it quite a murky sort of, which maybe is what's the, the effect they wanted to create, but it did sort of create a bit of a dis, sort of pattern when you're reading it a bit, which is odd. However, no big deal. This one I loved. Conan Trophy. And now the stories, I don't know if they lead from that the story that I would just I was just showing with this one. It's familiar. I'm certain this is a story that's been done before. I'm, I'm, I'm certain I've read this story. So I don't know if these have been ones that have been done by other artists or whatever. I'm, I haven't gone through, looked back and checked to see with this story, but it's just odd. I can't show that because it's, of course, the end. But I think if you, the story's familiar, so I'm certain that you'll know what happens. However, you've got this one, Conan. I love this one. This is just great. I love these sort of desert scenes. I love desert scenes. I am just a super fan of desert. I don't know why. I've never... Maybe because I've never been up to a desert. Maybe when I, if I was in a desert, I'd be thinking, no, this is not so good. But however, you've got this great open scene with the sun beating down and the camels, etc. And he's obviously going into town. And the artwork is just great. And he he's, goes into a, a bar and he starts telling stories. Just absolutely... And there's, of course, lots of these stories are familiar. You, you know, if you've... Frost Giant's Daughter, all those sort of things. There's, unless I'm wrong probably completely wrong but however it's just great and I think the artwork is just look at that just really great just perfect for the story that's which is cause and the, and the colors are just muted enough to but it's not ah it's just perfect just a perfect story and I just it's fun a fun fun story and I think Conan I, I love the, the fun stories more than the the ones where it's just basically violence all the way through I mean Conan's always going to have violence, but it's uh, those stories are always just great where you've got Conan with a bit of humour. And this does this book has got a lot more humour than than normal. It's not he's not doing this sort of comedian ch Saturday Night Live sort of show, but it's sort of there is a certain more different from usual. However, this one is the next one, No O Prince, and I love those sort of stories where it sort of gives it a sort of as if the age is before. Maybe that's why I, that's why I love Conan. Conan and Carl and that sort of stuff, I suppose because it's that sort of world that is a bit like Roman. The Romans, for me, is a bit like that because you've got the Dark Ages. Oh, I hate that term, Dark Ages. Don't believe that. But it's sort of, there's that sort of period where we really lost a lot of information about. And this, of course, this world of Conan is the same, where it's even more information is lost. We know we really just did not know, you know, no one turns around Roman times thinking, oh, there was Conan, etc. because it's nine, ten thousand years before. And I just love those sort of things because it's just a completely... And yet it's familiar to our world. There's all similar sort of things, but taverns and whatever. But it's... That's... I don't know. Maybe that's just the thing I love about Conan. And, and you've got here, you've got... Of course, you've got the standard. You've got some vampires. <laughs> Sorry for spoilers on that one. But uh, I'm not going to say any more about the story. But it's it's a very nice little story, that one. I, I didn't... This one's also a good one as well. And it's... Again, very familiar. I'm certain the story's been done before. It's uh, I'm not one for when it comes to stories. I'm certain other people do. They say, oh, that's that one. But I'm not very good on that, I have to say. I mean, I just take the story as I just take it. And I read it and think, well, it's familiar. Without going back and doing some research and thinking, you know what, that's that story. But it's it's really good. Real good and some dramatic bits of artwork. And of course, you've got the usual characters in here. He's obviously met up with some women. And you know, you know, uh, I'm not again a bit of a spoiler, but you know what's going to happen. Two women, Conan going off with two women. Well, virtually inevitable. But I, I just love the whole thing. Conan, Isle of No Return, and that probably the clue. Island of No Return. Well, obviously Conan does. We know that, unless it was the end of the story. But it's just got just actually there was a bit odd bits of pieces, odd bits of artwork that didn't. 
Mm, she looks a bit odd there. The drawing just slightly goes a bit funny there, the, the inky. But it's still great. And it's got, again, lots of humour again all the way through it. Flee! Kind of thing. But Conan is probably more like your standard Conan, this one. But some of the, some of the stories, I, I did feel it was slightly different. This is So if you want a sort of Conan that's slightly different from usual, I think this book you will enjoy. However, what else is in there? Well, you've got some bonus material at the back, which you have to say is always good. And you've got this one, very early head studies. I love that sort of thing. That actually is always one of the things that I'm always fascinated about, how the artist thinks about how to draw it, how to construction, all sort of how the overall look. And uh, drawing was, Conan was a daunting task, and I well imagine that is the case. Who's saying, <coughs> going back to... Uh, uh, photographs of 1920s and 1930s prize fighters. Interesting way, because of course, obviously, Ari Howard, that sort of boxing, all those sort of things that, of course, are always boxing stories. I'm surprised they've never, well, maybe they have, I don't know. Maybe they've done, I'm surprised no one's ever done a series about boxing characters from Ari Howard. I'd love to see that. But uh, this is one uh, drawing, including my, ah, oh, that's good. Yeah, just great. And also, there's these ones here that at the back that are having, I've actually just ordered that one so um, I mean I love P. Craig Russell I didn't even realise it was out <laughs> game terrible but uh, this one I might get I haven't decided yet but uh, I will get that one first and then I will decide on the only, trouble, the only thing might be annoying because it might suddenly come out in the other ones and I'll be thinking oh but I'll probably get it again just throw my, some money away however Conan aids an old ally in the wretched... Oh, he's old, I didn't realise that. Anyway, whatever. Wretched waste of st Stygia. I never can say that. Stygia? Stygia? Who knows? Maybe they didn't say that at all back then. It was, of course, 10,000 years ago. Maybe they didn't say it that way. However, harsh desert that harbours undreamed of wealth, as they always do. But Conan's pursuit of ancient treasure suit. Actually, there's a few runs of treasure in this. Maybe that's the connection. It's tre there's a bit few... Everyone has... Stories are sort of treasures, I suppose. However, very enjoyable, quite a good read. That's how I was a bit unsure at first. I thought, mm, first part, you know, first part of the story. I thought, oh, I don't know if I'm going to enjoy this one, but I did in the end. So you can see it's not a super thick book, but actually quite a joy in the end to read. And uh, yeah, good. Parental adv advisory. They always put those sort of things at the back. But uh, there's the back, of course. Nice. I love the uh, saw there glowing away. That's really heavily emphasis. Obviously, that's the last story, I assume. But there is Conan, Songs of the Dead, and other stories, of course, as well. Totally recommended.